Hey there! Today, we are going to show you how to add and manage your site sections. Sections are the building blocks of your strikingly site building experience. You'll use it to display your content, leave contact methods, and do everything else that you want to do. Any default template you choose will come with a few default sections, from the opening header to the closing footer section. But of course, you'll want to add and customize your own. To add a section, click this Add New Section button on the left-hand panel, scroll through the section list, and try one or two that you think would work best for what you want to do. And there's no need to hold back here because it's beyond easy to delete a section anytime. Just select the section you wish to delete, click the X button beside the section name, and confirm. And in case you immediately regret that, and if you're using the latest Strikingly Editor version, you can recover that deleted section using the Undo button, as long as you haven't closed or exited the Site Editor yet. Now each section has a default name, but you can rename any section by selecting the section name, typing the name you want, and clicking the check icon to save it. And you can freely reorder your sections by clicking what we call a sandwich or hamburger icon beside any of the section names and dragging sections up or down the list to create the order that you want them displayed in. You can show or hide any section name from appearing on the navigation menu. And lastly, you can duplicate these sections to save time recreating them. Note that the simple blog, social feed, simple store, and app store and HTML sections cannot be duplicated. If you're a free user, there's a 20 section limit per site. Check out the Strikingly blog and help center to get more tips and suggestions on how you can edit and customize your site.